Good afternoon, everybody here on WFLA Now. And WFLA Now is Daisy Ruth here doing something, logging in to, to talk about something that I never thought in my life that I would have to speak about. Um, my, you can see on the other side of your screen my colleague and my friend Victoria Price. If you've seen Victoria's social media posts, the story we have up on WFLA.com, Victoria, we always say that we're on your side, but somebody had was on your side, had your back. Can you tell us a little bit about the diagnosis, what you have, have been going through? Yeah, this has just been sort of a, a crazy whirlwind week um, to bring everybody up to speed. Earlier this week, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, which certainly came as a surprise. Um, I've been having some doctor's appointments and things over the last month, um, so it was you know possible that this was coming, officially diagnosed this week. And this entire process was set into motion because um, last month I received an email from one of our viewers. It was a very short email, didn't even have a body to the email actually, it was all just in the subject line. Um, and it basically said, I saw you on the news, please get your thyroid checked out. I see a lump, it looks like my neck, mine was cancer, uh, which is obviously a very alarming email to receive out of the blue from a stranger. Hey, your neck looks like mine, mine was cancer. Um, so, you know, I, I called my doctor and that set the whole process into motion and here we are. <laughs> so had you been feeling sick before this? As you mentioned in your social media posts, you are covering and have been covering one of the craziest pandemics, everything that's going on around the globe. You've been focusing a lot on unemployment, but we've all as journalists been so focused, especially you and your new investigative role, that it was it was difficult to focus on your own health. Have you been feeling sick or anything prior to this? So not really. And that's one thing that I've learned. This has been a crash course just the last few days. I've been doing a lot of research and um, for the most part, thyroid cancers can be asymptomatic. And that, doctors tell me, is actually the most common to have asymptomatic thyroid cancer that will then just kind of sit under the, under the surface, undetected, until it possibly spreads and causes more problems. So um, in retrospect, going back and thinking about it, the last few months, I haven't fully felt like myself. I've been very, very tired. Um, I put on a little bit of weight. I just, I didn't feel super healthy. But I honestly chalk that up to the pandemic, to the fact that everyone's routines are, you know, routines have been upended and we've been working constantly and it, it all seemed to kind of fit the criteria for what a lot of people have been facing with the pandemic. So I, I just didn't think it was anything more than that. So Tor, moving forward, you mentioned in your post about surgery on Monday. What, what does your process, recovery process, surgery look like moving forward? Yeah, so I have surgery this Monday, TGH. Yay, TGH. Uh, <laughs> we love them. Uh, they will be removing my entire thyroid. So the nodule that I have, the tumor, whatever you want to call it, is right in the middle. Um, unfortunately, they have to remove the entire thyroid, the entire organ. So, you know, great 28 years with you. We'll miss you, thyroid. And then there's, <laughs> some, there's some lymph nodes that it's spread to as well that I don't know how many, but they'll be removing some of those. And then while I'm there, they will be biopsying some of the other lymph nodes just to ensure that it hasn't spread even more. And then we'll do a, we'll do a CAT scan just to, to check everything out. So that'll all be on Monday. And I'm told that if all goes as planned, which we're crossing our fingers, it does. I'll be back at work the next week. So I'll see you guys soon. Lord have mercy, your story, you wrote a story <laughs> for us on WFLA.com. And as I was reading it, we were talking on stream about how I am such a ball baby, and this makes me oh, very no, sad. It's but okay, I'm, it's okay. I mean, I, <laughs> that's, one the, that's one of the really reassuring things about all of this. You know, it's not a fun process. Nobody likes right. to have their doctor look at them and say, you have cancer. That, that's, that's not a fun experience, and I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. But one thing that's been really reassuring in my research is that thyroid cancer is one of the slowest growing. It is one of the most treatable. It's actually far more common in women than you may think. Um, and surprisingly, a lot of women my age actually get diagnosed. So even if you're in your 20s, don't think you're immune. But it's really, really treatable. Um, Five-year survival rate is 98%. And everyone knows, if you know me, I'm a tough broad. I'm not going to let something like this <laughs> me down. So anyone who's been worried, I appreciate you so much. But please don't be worried. Everything's going to be okay. 
And that's, yeah, brings me back to your story that we have on WFLA.com. And I believe it's linked here in our Facebook post. I was reading it, and of course, you wrote it, not edited, or it, not that it's anything. <laughs> but it's, I just read it in your voice and everything with the, the statistics and everything. Very well thought out and researched, and it's just, it, it, it made me smile reading your words, and it's, it's really good to hear you and and see your face right now. So. Oh, it's okay. You know, there's always, there's always a silver lining to everything. And that's really, you know, we're so fortunate to have this voice, to have this platform. And I really want to utilize this to educate and to advocate. It's going to suck to have to go through this. It's going to be a literal pain in the neck. But I think already the awareness that we've been able to drum up today has just blown me out of the water. It's been incredible um, how much the story has been shared and how much light and awareness we've been able to shed on thyroid cancer just in one day. And this is right. something that people don't really talk about. So, um, you know, um, we're going to use this myself and my wonderful colleagues. We're all going to use this as a vehicle to educate people and a vehicle to inform people and a vehicle for, for some good. So it's, as far as I'm concerned, only good outcomes ahead. I have one comment here. I'm just going to read one hashtag Hey Daisy yeah. comment because I see it. Hashtag Hey Daisy from Peeler Katie. Tell Victoria we are praying for her with a pray emoji and a bunch of hearts, folks. If you have been giving Victoria well wishes, she is is still very busy even after this because she is. Yeah, I got to go make deadlines. So. <laughs> so just one last question no, for you, Victoria, no, just no. very quickly <laughs> from me. Have you spoken to this viewer? Have you, have, has this viewer reached back yeah. out to you? So um, very, very briefly, earlier this week, when I got the diagnosis, I went back and I emailed, like I said, she had her name in the email, but it was a very, very short email, didn't really say who she was or anything like that. Um, when she emailed me last month, I was so taken aback that I, I don't even think, I didn't even reply back then. Now I, I feel guilty about that. But earlier this week, uh, I did email her an emphatic thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I would have I would have otherwise totally ignored this, I think, until who knows what would have happened. She did email me back uh, today just saying, I'm, I'm really glad that you got it checked out. So I would love to maybe try to connect with her after surgery in a few weeks. We'll see what happens. Um, but if not, I mean, I'm certainly going to do all, all that I can to, to thank her and, and, and let people know, even if they don't know who she is, to say this woman very possibly could have saved my life. All right, Victoria Price here joining us on WFLA Now, and it's it just still kind of just gives me a chuckle, makes me smile that even after a, a diagnosis like this, you are still on deadline and you are still <laughs> working. Course. You are one of the Always. toughest women I know, and I am so fortunate to be your friend, and I'm sure we will we will talk before your surgery and after your surgery. And our, our comments here, wishing you a lot of love, so I hope you can take some time in your evening to go back and listen to them, but I know you're busy, so I'm going to going to let you go ahead and hop off stream. Just wanted to let you know that I love you and I'm thinking about you and you got this. I love you too. Thank you guys all so much. Everyone has been so supportive. All right. For Eight on Your Size, Victoria Price, I've been Daisy Ruth, folks. Thank you so much for joining and sending a lot of love to Victoria Price here on WFLA Now and on her social media. You can follow her on Facebook and on Twitter to follow her journey really advocating for thyroid cancer and bringing awareness to things like this. So again, for Victoria Price, I'm Daisy Ruth. Thank you guys so much for watching.